Hi, I'm Steven, and today I will be talking about whiteness and what it is, um, and you're going to get a chance to hear from some other college students discuss their opinions on it as well. Um, so whiteness, what is it exactly? Well, it's not literally anything, but at the same time, it's everything. Uh, that doesn't sound like it makes a lot of sense, but trust me, I'm going to explain that. Uh, whiteness is a type of discursive formation, which is a pattern of discourse use that creates knowledge or truth of a culture. That culture being white people through the concept of whiteness. Um, so whiteness can be viewed as a construction of meaning that is not linear but filled with contradictions. This means that it is a systematic concept that we as Americans have almost been ingrained to believe and think like with through um, our upbringings being that whiteness is generally defined as the majority in our country. So now you'll get the chance to hear from a couple of millennial college students tell their stories and dive into their identity while discussing how they have viewed themselves and whiteness throughout their lives in the culture of America. Enjoy. I'm Tony, my mom is Cuban and my father is Italian. So growing up Cuban, um, most times people will look at me and they'll think I'm Italian. Um, I never really felt any um, that I was treated any different type of way based on my race. Um, I know it's different for me than a lot of people though because most people will look at me and think uh, I'm Italian which is not as much of a disadvantage uh, minority, minority as um, being Hispanic. A lot of people think of white privilege as a thing of the past and I used to think that way uh, but turns out that there are a lot of ways that white people still have privilege in society, a lot of ways that I didn't even know about until I was in college. And I think the main problem of why this is so prevalent in our culture is because people don't know, people don't know that uh, white people on average still earn 16 times the median average annual income of that of a black household, and the gap is even more for a Hispanic household. Um, a lot of the problems is that these people uh, people don't know about it. Any white person you see walking down the street isn't to blame for this, and their parents aren't either. It really stems from the systematic oppression of minorities throughout American history. Now that we have laws stating that people have equal opportunity, the public opinion about it has shifted a lot because people think that the effects of those problems aren't still there when they really are. So I think the solution to this would be to inform people, educate people. It all starts with education. The education quality between races and uh, communities with more minorities is drastic compared to white communities. The access to education and all of the luxuries that we see as standard in America, a lot of people don't enjoy um, or can't afford. People need to vote. People need to elect officials into office that are going to plug into those inner city communities, those urban areas, and make sure that people have access to education. That's because that's where true equal opportunity begins. Hi, my name is Taylor. Um, I'm white, and my ancestry is from Italy and Germany. I grew up in a town that was predominantly white, and I didn't really notice race until I got to high school. Um, that's when I started noticing people treating other people differently or talking down to them because of the color of their skin. But thankfully, I grew up with a mom who didn't view people based off their race, their ethnicity, or where they came from. She viewed people about who they were as a person. And I cheered um, in Glen Burnie, which was very far from where I lived, and there was a lot of people with different backgrounds, different ethnicities. There, where I became friends with a lot of people, I got to know people, and I didn't judge them for the color of their skin, even though I noticed my teachers would or my peers were at school. And then I transferred to Towson University, where more people were open to people from different backgrounds and different races, and they didn't judge anybody. There still is racism on campus, I have seen it, but there's a lot less, and I, I feel a lot happier here because there is a lot less white privilege. Um, my professors have even acknowledged white privilege because I'm not denying that it doesn't exist. It does. I've seen it myself. I try as hard as I can to not use privilege against other people, but it's there. People do use it against other people. I'm very grateful to have moved to a diverse area where I see people being nicer to others, and I'm also very grateful that I was brought up to not judge people by the color of their skin.